Do you want to get Iris shaders in Minecraft 1.21.7? Let's do it. First things first, you're going to need to download Iris. Now, all the things we mentioned in this video are linked in the description down below, but you can also Google Irish shaders download and it will take you here which is the official Irish shaders download page where we can click download universal jar and the download will begin meaning to keep or save the file depending on your browser now you will also need to get shader packs and you might be asking what are shader packs well this is basically kind of like resource packs but it's shaders and they all look a bit different as you can see BSL shaders looks a bit different from makeup ultra fast which is a bit different from dr. Destin's shaders now of course, we have that link down below, our list of the best shaders, though you don't have to really think about what shaders you're getting, but you can obviously Google Minecraft Shader Packs, and you can download these on CurseForge and ModRenth. These are the most popular places to get them. You can see the options here, including, for example, BSL, and you can see them here as well. Let's go ahead and grab BSL shaders and complementary shaders, and when you're downloading these, you want to make sure that you're downloading them for the most recent version. It's probably not going to be the exact version you're getting shaders for, but that's okay. For example, as you can see, 1.21.5, this is still going to work perfectly fine without any issues. So we can go ahead and download this. And while this is downloading, how much from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ says SGH to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods plugins and mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want and there's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way so stop starting to host a minecraft server and start your server the simple way at the first link in the description down below the breakdown dot xyz slash sgh from there we also have complimentary shaders we're getting in the process is exactly the same just download the most recent version that is available now with these shaders packs and our iris shaders mod downloaded we can go ahead and minimize our browser we want to move all of this to our our desktop so take it from here in your downloads folder and move it to your desktop it's not gonna live here forever it just makes things easier if everything is on the desktop then you want to open up the iris installer right click on it click on open with and click Java if you don't have Java here you just need to get Java of course linked in the description down below or Google Java 21 download and you will be able to get the Java download and get Java 21 downloaded we also have the jar fix link below and that'll link the jar files your computer back to Java but most likely get Java first then worry about the jar fix. But nonetheless, we can go ahead and open up the Iris installer by right clicking on it, clicking on open installer and clicking Java. Super easy from here. All you've got to do is click on 1.21.7, Iris install, done. That's it, you're done, it's completed. This might have issues if Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed. Also, make sure you played Minecraft 1.21.7 before, but we can now close out of Iris and delete it. Let's go ahead and get our shader packs installed. And to do that, we need to play Minecraft using our Iris shaders installation. So if we open up the Minecraft launcher, we will have an installation. If we go to installations up here at the top and make sure modded is checked in under versions here for Iris and Sodium 1.21.7. We can go ahead and play Minecraft using that by clicking play and clicking play again. And that's the hard part. Getting Iris installed is the hard part. So if you're here adding your shaders back, super easy. Let's go ahead and get in game and show you how. All you've got to do to get your shaders installed is go to options, video settings, and then click shader packs at the top. Then you want to go ahead and drag and drop the shader packs you want to install directly into this shader packs menu and basically management screen here. And when you do nearly instantly, they will appear. Now to activate them, one, make sure shaders is enabled here. If it's not, it won't work. But if this says enabled, click on the shader pack you want and click apply. I do want to mention there are shader pack settings down here that you can change pretty much everything about BSL shaders, for example, but every shader pack is gonna be a bit different about what you can change here. But now we can go ahead and jump in game, and obviously we're gonna be jumping onto a simple game hosting server here. And once we are in game, shaders will be active, and honestly, it's gonna look really, really good. I love shaders. BSL shaders, probably one of my favorite shaders packs. After that, it's probably actually makeup ultra fast, and then complimentary, but we can see this is now active. Let's go to daytime to make sure we can even see these shadows there. You can actually change shader packs in game as well by going to options, video settings, and then again, shaders pack at the top, and then click on the other shader pack. In this case, it'll be complimentary. Click apply, it'll move over to that, and you can see the difference. See how much brighter this is, as well as the clouds are completely different. So much can be changed by just changing your shader pack, but this is still adding shadows. Things like the, you know, leaves still flow in the wind, all of that stuff. So if you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, but enjoy shaders in Minecraft, and specifically Irish shaders in Minecraft 1.21.7. We'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.